So there's some uh, good news here in the lead up to negotiations with North Korea. Uh, it is being reported that three American hostages have now been released by the North Korean regime. Uh, recently, it was revealed that Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had made another surprise trip to North Korea for a little bit more negotiation and to prepare for some eventual talks between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. Now, it's being reported in the lead-up, the hostages, uh, Tony Kim, Kim Hak-sung, and Kim Dong-chul, have been released and are flying home with Mike Pompeo. Now, it's important to note that uh, all three of them happen to be uh, Christians. Um, and why do I think that's important to note? Well, because if you evangelize in North Korea, you're going to get arrested. So religion, of course, is uh, outlawed. I, I disagree with that. I think you should have relig whatever religion that you want. But they don't have the same kind of freedom of religion laws that we do here. So I think that might have to do with a little bit with at least some of their arrests. So, And it also might have to do with the idea that Trump is very invested in getting these people back. But nonetheless, this is still good news. I'm still glad... Uh, that they are coming back home. Now, according to Vox, last week, the North Korean government transferred the Americans from the labor camps where they were being held to a hotel near Pyongyang. Then, uh, late on Tuesday night, Kim had authorized their official release and had handed them over to U.S. custody. Trump finally uh, tweeted about this earlier this morning. He said, I'm pleased to inform you that Secretary of State Pompeo is in the air and on his way back with North from North Korea with the three wonderful gentlemen that everyone is looking so forward to meeting. They seem to be in good health. Also, good meeting with Kim Jong-un. Date and place set. So, as I said before, good news, right? It's rare good news. Credit to Pompeo, and, I, and believe me, I don't give, I hardly give credit to people like that. Um, so, yes, this, this shows how much of a positive development this is. Now, of course, they don't get all the credit, 100% of the credit, but a good amount of it does go to them. Actually, more credit goes to, I think, the warming relations, uh, relationship between North and South Korea, something that we really didn't have much uh, to do with, to be honest with you. Nonetheless, I think we're taking advantage of the warming of relations, and that generally is a good thing. Uh, now, more details. Now, back in March, North Korean Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho traveled to Sweden to discuss releasing these hostages. And over Easter weekend, then CIA Director Pompeo spoke personally with Kim Jong-un about the detainees. So, I, I want to talk about North Korea and, and why they're interested in doing this. Um, apparently, in the lead-ups to the talks, they are showing a little bit of goodwill because I think I think they actually do want some of these talks to work because it's advantageous for North Korea to not be as strangled by United uh, you know US sanctions and our military presence in South Korea. So all that stuff I think makes them a little bit more receptive so I think this is more of a, a goodwill kind of thing. And it's much better than the last goodwill which was Otto Warm beer that did not turn out well. Um, because later on, after being subjected to who knows what, Warmbier ended up dying from these injuries. So, and uh, uh, what he had sustained being in North Korea. Uh, now, experts, of course, say that releasing the three Americans is a good sign that North Korea wants a good meeting between Trump and Kim Jong Un and a peaceful resolution of the nuclear and other issues with North Korea. This is according to Joseph Detrani, a former intelligence official who previously negotiated peace talks with North Korea. Now, I'm hoping that these three gentlemen are in good health. As I said before, the conditions inside these North Korean labor camps and prisons is absolutely horrific. And that, as I said before, it, it is probably what contributed to the death of Otto Warmbier. So if this ends up differently then I think that's a good sign for diplomacy. I actually care about diplomacy. I actually want us to use diplomacy. I actually wish that we could have done that with Iran instead of pulling out of the deal, which I think was a disastrous move, and that's going to set us back massively. 
nonetheless, um, I think in this case, the Trump administration does deserve to get credit for helping to facilitate the release of different uh, of, of hostages. They've actually had a better record on that than the Obama administration. You know, here's a couple of examples. The Trump administration worked with Egypt to release Aya Hajazi, an Egyptian aid worker from captivity back in 2017. And in October, Trump announced the release of Caitlin Coleman, her husband and three children that they bore in captivity that lasted five years. So that's just a couple of examples that's good for the hostages. It's good for families. And of course, it's obviously good for Donald Trump. So I think he can take this win. Credit where credit is due. <laughs> Let's hope that this leads to more positive news regarding North Korea. Although with us pulling out of the Iran deal, I think that might complicate matters because now who's going to trust our word uh, as a country? But nonetheless, I don't know. We'll see if this meeting uh, with Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump turns out to be any good. Uh, if we get some sort of positive um, news from that, I hope so. Because at the end of the day, uh, I'm in favor of diplomacy. And if Trump's going to do diplomacy and is going to go that route instead of going the route of war, then I guess, well, I don't guess, that's a good thing. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.